Hey Tech Army, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Tech Timing. So guys, in this amazing episode, we are going to discuss 5 best graphics cards for 1440p resolution. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notifications for more videos. 1040p or QHD is a popular resolution that sits right in between the two extremes, 1080p and 4K. This resolution has been overlooked for quite some time as it was too demanding for a budget-oriented graphics card to handle. And those who were not affected by budget constraints simply went ahead with flagship graphics cards that could run games at 4K resolution. Recently though, we have seen some exceptional graphics cards in the mid-tier segment. Nvidia and AMD both have great value for money graphics cards in 2022 that can handle AAA games at 1440p resolution. 5 Most Amazing Graphics Cards Created Towards 1440p Gaming Number 1. Nvidia GeForce RTX 3070 The Nvidia RTX 3070 is undoubtedly the best graphics card that targets a high-end 1440p 1440p graphics card. In general, it is one of the top choices for a future-proof graphics card for the average consumer. You get solid ray tracing performance alongside support for 1440p gaming. Additionally, if you do not want to upgrade to a 4K monitor in the near future, the 3070 should be able to get you through basic 4K gaming as well. On top of everything, the RTX 3070 is affordable and should not break your bank. Number 2. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti The NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti is the graphics card for most people that want to limit their gaming experience to 1440p. It manages to attain the core essence of a mid-tier graphics card while performing at a substantially lower price than the flagship offering. The 3060 Ti gives a decent ray tracing performance that does not affect the frame rate by a whole lot. If you max out ray tracing and in-game graphical settings, you may want to use the NVIDIA DLLS feature, which upscales resolution and helps squeeze out the maximum FPS. The RTX 3060 Ti also manages to counter the thermal influence problem common in budget segment graphics cards, and it runs fairly cool even under heavy loads. Number 3. AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT AMD is a pioneer in budget graphics cards and has made some of the most popular graphics cards to date. The 6700 XT implements the premium RDNA 2 architecture at a reasonable price point. The RDNA 2 architecture, also referred to as Big Navi, brings features like incredible thermal efficiency, power efficiency, and most importantly, ray tracing. Although the ray tracing is not comparable to NVIDIA standards, it can still pull decent performance by making minor optimizations. The RX 67 700 XT is a 1440p beast that will hold its ground for years as a budget-oriented graphics card and even go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the latest consoles. Number 4. AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT With the RX 6600 XT, AMD has genuinely managed to create a place in the budget QHD graphics card segment. Despite being targeted as a 1080p card, the RX 6600 XT is decently affordable and offers nearly the same base features as the 6700 XT at around 20% inferior performance. You should expect an average frame rate while playing graphically extensive games at 1440p resolution. One basic compromise with the 6600 XT will be its below average ray tracing performance. You will mostly not be able to run this title in QHD with ray tracing on. Number 5. NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super The NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super is still a great value for QHD gaming, especially considering that these can often be found at great prices during sales, and can also be picked up as a decent second-hand choice. The 2080 Super managed just to rival the performance of the RTX 3060 Ti and even beat it in most instances. Buying a 2080 Super for the retail price might not be the most optimal purchase. It is a once-in-a-while pick that manages to establish dominant value when bought from offbeat sources. The 2080 Super includes ray tracing, but that does not stand as its strong point. If you value maximum performance, you will most likely not embark on the ray tracing trend anyway. Conclusively, the RTX 2080 Super is a decent QHD graphics card that you can purchase without struggling for a 30 series graphics graphics card with hiked prices. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.